All right, we're back here at the Fortson. We're uh, changing out the valve guides. I already changed, I pulled these four, got this one out. As you can see, this guide is good. There's no wiggle at all. It's, it's good and tight, real subtle, but not, not bad. This one here, there's a lot of play. It would run on it, but since I'm rebuilding the engine, I, I want it better than that. So I kind of made up a little homemade puller. Just took a piece of, yeah, actually I used it as a seal driver some time ago, but it works good. It's got a 3 8 hole in it, 5 16 bolt. It's got to be a 5 16 because that's what the guides are. This is a Model F Fortson, so the valve stems are 5 16 We got to pull a spring out first. Drop our little homemade puller in there. Well, first off, let's put a new washer on here. That washer was getting a little bad. Stick that in there. This is just a nut for a splice for ready rod. It seems to be working pretty good. Draw it up, and as we just keep threading it, it'll keep tightening. Um, get a different socket here. A little cold out here today it's probably in the 20s so trying to conserve the warmth in my hands using a ratchet with a rubber handle and something with a little bit of leverage seems to help because these are quite tight sometimes you'll actually hear them pop when they initially come I don't think this one did because it's coming already and I didn't hear a pop Once I get these out, then we can put new guides in. We might have to ream them so that they have a little bit of slop. Your exhaust valve always has to have a little bit of clearance so it doesn't get hot and bind up. Uh, and then we can do a valve job. This one's actually coming quite easy. I wouldn't recommend using an air tool because you won't be able to sense when you bottom out on the threads. Or at least with this you can sense when it gets really tight and you know you're out of thread and then you back off and we just shim it out and it seems to work with this little homemade puller. The ready rod nuts I think are a little on the softer side. They kind of pull the thread a little bit. But it works better than a regular nut because you need the length so that you can grab it. The nut actually goes up into the bore of where the valve uh, guide sits, so it's nice. It fits up in there when the when you start really pulling on it. You just need some more length. You have to get the right size 5 16 bolt. I would also recommend a hard one, uh, a hardened bolt, because I wouldn't use a soft one. I just stick these nuts under it to get more pulling power and you need the clearance for the valve guide to come up in. It takes a little bit of time but it ain't too bad being that I, you don't have to buy a puller. Put some washers on top where the bolt is so it kind of acts as a thrust washer and it gives a little bit of movement. It pulls a little easier down. It's coming. It's nice with a long ratchet. A short ratchet tires you out. Alright, we bottomed out again. Loosen it. If threads were just a little better on those nuts, it would be nice. my little spacers up. Need a little bit more. Just be careful you don't drop those nuts or any hardware down the water jackets. Try to keep count of whatever you put on top of this block because you want to be able to account for it when you're done.
This little homemade puller worked out great. It, it did the job. There we go. And we're out. And there it is. There's the valve guide. So now all we got to do is get the new ones, drive them in there, and then I'm sure we'll have to ream them. But that ain't the biggest thing in the world. One step at a time. That's all you can do.